you and me. After exploring the Dead Sea, our adventure continues to a place called Qasr el Yahud, a historical rendezvous point. It is the place where the children of Israel first crossed the Jordan River into the Promised Land. You swim under with a straw, with a straw swim over to Jordan and then go to Petra. Also the place where Elijah and Elisha divided the water and crossed over on dry ground. And the very same place where John baptized Jesus. We're standing in the Jordan River the baptismal place of Jesus Christ. But there are mines here, babe, right? Since the Six-Day War, this site languished behind barbed wire and minefields for five decades. <laughs> what is your name, by the way? Stav. Stav. And my name is Eden. Eden. Garden of Eden. So Eden, okay. <laughs> Eden. Eden, okay. Fortunately, however, a few years ago, some of the mines were cleared out, so we are able to take a peek at one of the most significant historical sites in Israel. in Casa El Yehud, the baptismal place of Jesus Christ. This is an incredible place because a lot of things happen here. It all started when the children of Israel crossed from Jordan through this river. You can see it's very low right now, very small, but back at the time it was much bigger. They crossed through this river into the land of Israel. Now, in the very place, Joshua did something. God told him to take 12 stones from the river and place them in the camp of Gilgal in Israel. But Joshua did something more than that. He also took 12 stones from outside of the Jordan River and placed them into the Jordan River when it was still dry, when God stopped the flow. And he placed them under the feet of the priests that carry the Ark of the Covenant. So why is it important what Joshua did here with the stones? Because when John the Baptist came here and he rebuked the Jews, calling them brutal vipers, and he said, you, have, you say you have Abraham for your father, but God could raise his children out of these stones. These stones, what are these stones? These are the very stones that Joshua placed into the river. And now think of the symbolism. Joshua takes stones out of the Jordan River. Jordan represents what? Jesus, Yarden. Yarden means descender. So, descender, Jesus is descender. It's the water that washes. That's why the baptism happens here. It's the washing of water. So, he takes 12 stones, 12 tribes out of the covenant. They're placed out and he replaces them with stones from outside of the river. What are those 12 stones? The 12 disciples. Isn't that incredible? This is exactly what happens. And then right after that, in Matthew 3, Jesus gets baptized in this very place. Another thing that happened here is Elijah and Elisha. This is where they crossed the Jordan River, also the very same place. And he had uh, the water recede and open up like the miracle that happened in the Dead Sea for the Israelites. They walked on it and then on the way back, what, after Elijah was taken, Elisha took his belt and his power too. Double of that actually because he asked for it. And then he did the same miracle again. It all happened here at this spot. Wonderful. Isn't it crazy to think that Jordan is a hand reach away beyond this yellow floating barrier? And sometimes you can even see Jordanian soldiers on the other side of the river, making sure that nobody's crossing over, just like these Israeli soldiers. So this place is called Qasr al-Yahud. That means the Palace of the Jews. Where does this name come from? It comes from a monastery that was built in the 6th century by Byzantine Orthodox Christians. They built it because this was the baptismal place of Jesus Christ. And next to that monastery, they built many more monasteries. In fact, this land is called the land of monasteries. There are so many. 
uh, back in the 12th century, they had a recorded event of 60,000 people coming here, pilgrims. So until 1968, this was the primary baptismal place in Israel. But due to wars and dangers around, as you see all the minefields, they moved it to Yerbenit. And if you haven't watched that episode, I really recommend it. That's where Rhoda's sister got baptized a few episodes ago. So go back and watch that beautiful place as well. That's now the primary place, but this used to be it. And put you really low and you can skip to the Jordan side. <gasps> yes, imagine. You go as if you're going to be baptized. You hold your breath underwater, you swim under. With a straw. With a straw, swim over to Jordan and then go to Petra. Yes. But we could also just go to Petra Except with there are uh, soldiers car. of uh, Jordanians over there too. Right. Gosh. I wonder if they like, electrocute the... Uh... Click the subscribe button below. And stay tuned for our next episode as we calmly and peacefully hike up the mountain of Qumran in a search for ancient Hebrew manuscripts. Tell you what, looking up, it looked much closer and much easier than it actually is. Ah.